Santos. First things first, one thing that is breaking my heart, the circus is closing down. I know, and what a shock to all. The Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus will be closing doors later this year in 2017. After 146 years, the greatest show on earth will take its final bow in May at the NASA Coliseum. The circus is famous for their enormous elephants and extreme acrobatics starting their shows in the 1800s. Although the circus has had much success, in the mid-20th century, kids became less entertained and less enthusiastic about the circus. Sadly, in May of 2016, Ringling Brothers lost a lawsuit, which ended up with the circus losing their prized elephants. Attendance had been dropping for 10 years because many people thought that the circus employees were abusing and mishandling the elephants. It's extremely sad. However, with 146 years worth of entertainment, the circus has done its job. Now besides just the circus closing, the shores of Long Island are now in danger of being closed due to the shark population increase. And now, the shocking story from our sea correspondent, Brendan McCulley. Thanks, Emily. When we think of sharks, most of us think of the iconic movie Jaws, but now it's become a reality. Here to talk about it is local surfer and shark expert, Andrew. Welcome, Andrew. Good to be here, Brendan. Now, Andrew, what seems to be going on here on the coast of Long Island? With coastal waters warming up around Long Island, sharks are moving in and making their stay permanent. Various types of sharks have already been spotted off the coast, ranging from small to big. Local surfers and swimmers need to look out. Well, when you say various types of sharks, what sharks do you mean? Well, I've seen many sharks in my day, but never at this variety. I've seen great whites, which can grow up to 20 plus feet, blue sharks, sand tigers, and many others that just seem too close to shore. With that, scientists have discovered nursery grounds for sand tiger sharks in the Great Bay which doesn't make me feel any better about the situation. That's insane. Well, for all of us, including myself, I am going to be afraid of what's swimming beneath us. What should one do in case of encountering a shark? Well, first things first, stay calm. The more you panic, the less time you have to react. Try to attempt to poke them in the eyes, and you can also punch them in the gills. This will generally scare them off. If you're with other people, try to swim in groups to seem larger. Then they are not prone to attack. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you, Andrew, for telling us how to stay safe at our beaches. Back to you, Emily and Amar. With all the crazy stories happening around the island, it's nice to know that we can still stay at home, chill with a bit of Netflix. Speaking of Netflix, here's what you need to watch this month. Leaving this month is the award-winning war film, Black Hawk Down. Directed by Ridley Scott and with an ensemble cast and based on real events, Black Hawk Down is a must-see for all you action fans out there. Coming back soon are two critically acclaimed Netflix originals. A show I recently got into is Stranger Things. Stranger Things plays homage to the science fiction movies in the 80s while building on its own unique story. Season 1 was amazing and I can't wait for Season 2. I can't wait for Stranger Things 2 either. However, a show I think everyone should watch is Gotham. Gotham is a Fox TV show that also plays on Netflix. The popular show is a Batman spinoff and focuses on the origins of the characters and villains from Batman lore. I've been to watch that show before and it's absolutely worth your time to sit down, grab some po popcorn, and just be amazed by the mystery of Gotham. Well, this has been one heck of a show full of sharks, shows, and the circus. Thanks for watching New Level News. Reporting the most up and coming information. See you next time. Same place, same time.